Hello, everybody. Usually steaks are cooked for about 15 minutes because they just need to be fried. But we will make an unusual steak, which will take 100 hours to prepare. Let's start with the marinade. Chop some green onion. Throw that into a bowl. Peel six cloves of garlic. Crush them with a knife. And finally dice. Throw that into the bowl as well. Pressing it down with your hand, roll a grapefruit on the board to destroy its structure inside. Cut it in half. And squeeze out the juice. Cut two kiwis also in half. And then use a teaspoon to take out the pulp. And dump it into the mortar. Now we grind all this into a puree. And send it into the bowl. We pour in some red wine. And quite a lot of soy sauce. Now we just need to mix up the sauce. And you can pour it into a bag. Then we throw in our hefty tomahawk steak in there. Squeeze the excess air out of the bag. And seal it. Done. Thus, the marinade fits better to the steak, and a small amount of it works as efficiently as possible. You can put it into the fridge, and it'll marinate for three days. So the next day, we turn the steak over so that it marinates evenly. And now we're gonna make the longest sauce and cooking that you can think of. This is Jimmy Glass. So we put the beef bones in a baking tray, and throw them into the oven. Set the oven to 180 degrees in the top and bottom mode. Literally 40 minutes and they were gilded. We take them out and dump them into a saucepan. We will also need some vegetables. Cut up some carrot. Leave onions with the peel in there. I washed them in advance, but it'll set the sauce color. and celery root, cut into random pieces. Put the frying pan on the stove, olive oil, and put our vegetables on to fry. Our goal is to give them a good crust to the maximum power of this plate. There you go, now you just gotta add some tomato paste. Fry it up so that it stops smelling pretty damp. Also add a little flour, mix it up, and pour in some water so that nothing has time to burn. Now we'll put our vegetables into the pot with the bones, and pour some water on top. We'll cook the broth until it's set. Foam will appear on the surface. It needs to be constantly cleaned. We've removed the foam for two hours. A lot of water boiled away, so we pour some boiling water in. And cover it with the lid. We're gonna reduce the heat. Now for a very long time, periodically adding water, we're gonna cook our broth. Day three. Our broth has been cooking for about 30 hours. Let's prepare another pan and a sieve. Remove the broth from the stove. And filter through the sieve.
Now we need to cool the resulting pure broth. After just an hour in the fridge, the fat on the surface has hardened, and so now it can be easily removed with a spoon. Now our perfectly clean broth is returned to the stove and evaporated until it begins to thicken well really well. The resulting concentrate is poured into a baking tray with an even bottom. This is just the preparation for the demi glace sauce. We cool it in the refrigerator. So finally, on the last fourth day. During this time, the steak has been marinated to the bones, so we open it up. Drain the marinade. and take out the steak itself. You need to wash out the pieces of onion and other remnants of the marinade from it. Then we daub it with paper towels. We put the steak in a thermal package, throw in a couple of rosemary sprigs, and vacuum seal it. The first stage of cooking will be in sous vide. Turn it on. We lower the thermometer and make sure that the temperature does not rise above 60 degrees in any case. We immerse the steak. We're gonna prepare it like this for five hours. Meanwhile, we will cut zucchini. Young corn. and red onion all into slices. We dump the vegetables into a bowl. Pour some oil over them. Add some basil, salt, and mix. Now back to the sauce. Pour some wine into a pan and evaporate it. We take our blank and cut the super saturated jelly into sections. We only need a piece like this. We set it into the frying pan and dissolve it, stirring constantly. Now we just need to add some butter and mix it. At this point, the demi-glace sauce is finally ready. Now let's go to the grill and light up some coals. We distribute them evenly. Five hours have passed, so we take the steak out of the bag. And we don't need that rosemary anymore either. Pour some olive oil on it and smear it around. Now everything can be transferred to the grill grate. And let's spread out some vegetables. We close the lid to smother the flame and turn the steak over. We just need to set the crust. We also turn over the vegetables. Now you can take it all out. The steak is ready. 
although we decided to fry some Bulgarian peppers as well. Top the steak with rosemary and put on the sauce. Now everything is definitely ready. Let's dig on in. Pour on some demi glace sauce. And you can try it. This is one of the most delicious steaks I've ever eaten. The super saturated taste of the steak is also enhanced by the mega meat sauce. In general, it's perfect. Click on this playlist, you guys, and there are many more videos with food in 100 hours. Don't forget to like this channel and subscribe to the channel. Bye, everybody.